Today we'll be considering force and equilibrium, and we want to solve a particular question on equilibrium and force. And so the question we have is on the board, a block being pulled to the right by force F, acting at 30 degrees above the horizontal, undergoes uniform motion on the level surface. If the block has a weight of 20 kg and a coefficient of friction between the block and surface is 0 0.23, what is the force F required to pull the block to the right? So in order to solve questions like this, the first thing we need to do is try and come up with a diagram that illustrates the question. And we actually have the diagram here. And looking at the diagram, uh, there are several forces that are acting on the block. Now you have a block that is sitting on a level surface. Now a block of weight 20 kilograms that is sitting on a level surface, there are several forces that are acting on the force in order for the force to begin to move on this horizontal surface. And so first of all, the force we need to examine is the weight of the block. The weight of the block is acting downwards, and we're familiar with the fact that weight W is equal to mg. Now there's also the normal reaction, which is the normal reaction of the horizontal surface to the block, which is force M, which is acting upwards. Now, there's also an additional force, a frictional force, when an object is stationary is on a surface. There is, a, a, there is an opposing force, a resistance force, that is attempting to prevent the motion of the block. So having a block, this is our level surface, and this is our block. So the block is sitting on the level surface. And earlier on, I said the weight W is equal to what? Mg. And there is a normal reaction N, which is acting upwards. Now, there is an opposing force, which is a frictional force F, which will usually act in the opposite direction to the pulling force. Now, the question has made us understood that a block is being pulled to the right by a force F, but this force F is inclined at a particular angle, 30 degrees. And so, in order to illustrate that, our force F is acting this way and at an angle, 30 degrees. Now, we know very well that force F is a vector quantity, meaning it doesn't only have magnitude, it also has direction. So if force F is a vector quantity that has both magnitude and direction, and it is inclined at angle theta equals 30 degrees. That means we are concerned about resolving that force, finding the horizontal component of force F, and also finding the vertical component of force F. Now, before we go there, so when you are given a problem like this, the first thing you need to do is identify all the forces that are acting on the objects. And so we need to what? We need to resolve those forces from our understanding of equilibrium. We understand that we need to resolve uh, the vertical resolution of forces. So for the vertical resolution of forces for equilibrium to occur, it is expected that the upward force will be equal to what? To the downward force. Meaning N will be equal to what? W. The normal reaction will be equal to the weight W. And our weight W is equal to Mg. That is what we have in an ideal situation. But in this type of situation, where the force F is at, inclined at an angle theta equals 30 degree, we need to, we have a peculiar case in our hand. So let us try and extrapolate, let us try and extrapolate this portion out of the diagram. Now this is the force F, which is inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. So we are interested in finding the x components as well as what? as well as the y components. So in order to find the x components of this vector, of this force f, which is a vector, we know that fx will be equal to what? f cos 30 degree. So this is the x component of vector of, of, of force f, which is a vector, and fy will also be equal to what? F sine 30 degrees. So with this, we have successfully resolved 
force F. We have successfully found the, the X component of force F as well as the Y component of force F. So bringing this into our diagram, in order to resolve this force, so for the vertical resolution of forces, we will sum up all the upward forces. So there is an upward force. So the upward force F here will be what? F sine 30 degrees. So resolving the forces, we are summing up the, all the vertical, all the upward force, as well as what? all the downward forces. So doing that, that means we have what? N plus F sine 30. Because N is an upward force, and F sine 30 is also an upward force. Having found the vertical component of force F. So N plus F sine 30 will be equal to the downward force W. So we take that as our equation one. Now find or resolving the horizontal component of forces. Now, when an object is stationary, an object is on a level surface, and that object is going to undergo uniform motion. By the time you begin to apply your force, there is also called a resisting force that is attempting to prevent the object from moving. But a point comes when the applied force is equal to the resisting force. I'm an entrepreneur and a software engineer based in Ibado, Nigeria. My years at McPherson University were definitely my defining years. Today, I'm one of the young IT professionals changing the status quo in Nigeria. I have even started consulting for A-list companies. I'm a chartered accountant and a 2016 first class graduate from the Department of Accounting and Finance, McPherson University in Nigeria. McPherson University provided me with the best ever learning environment. A serene and quiet environment that inspired, motivated and prepared me for the world of works. Today, I'm not just a chartered accountant, but a community youth leader reputed for diligence, exemplary leadership and commitment. That's always the story of students who opt for McPherson University, Nigeria's fastest growing faith-based university established by First Square Gospel Church, Nigeria and situated in the serene environment of Serikin Sotayo, Ogun State. At McPherson University, we expose our students to a multicultural setting and diverse fields of knowledge through interactive teaching methodologies, project-based and hands-on learning techniques. Available undergraduate courses include Nursing Science, Medical Laboratory Science, Cyber Security, Information Technology, Software Engineering, Computer Science, Biochemistry, Microbiology, Economics and International Relations. Others are Mass Communication, Accounting, Finance, History and International Studies, Religion and Peace Studies, Business Administration, Marketing and English. We have undergraduate part-time and conversion programs in many courses as well as JUPEP program. We also run postgraduate for PGD, MSc, and PhD in Computer Science, as well as Masters in Business Administration, MBA. Our telephone hotlines are 0803 473 6991, 0803 423 4432, 0812 469 9889, and 0803 330 4512 or visit www.mcu.edu.ng Welcome to Malfasin University, the home of champions. Here we raise people of excellence who will render service with godly fear and mission is on. Must be equal to what? Your horizontal force. Must be equal to the applied force. So, what that means is that in order to resolve the horizontal component of our forces, we will have a frictional force F. And we know very well that frictional force F is equal to what? Mu S N. Where mu S is the coefficient of static friction. That is the limiting frictional force, the coefficient of limiting frictional force when the object has not started moving. There's also another one called what? Mu K, which is the coefficient of kinetic friction. That is when the object has started moving. So usually your mu K is usually less than your mu S because the moment an object has started moving, 
the frictional force attempting to hinder or impede the motion of the object is lower than the frictional force impeding the object when the object is starting. So resolving our forces horizontally. Now recall that earlier on I said F cos 30, which is the horizontal component of us F, F cos 30 will be equal to what? Our frictional force. And our frictional force is mu S A. And mu S is a constant which we have been given in the question. We have been told that if the block has a weight of 20 kilograms and the coefficient of friction between the block and surface is 0 0.23. So the coefficient of friction is what? 0 0.23. That means our mu S is what? Is 0 0.23. So we have what? F cos 30 degrees is equal to what? 0 0.23 F. Alright, so we have succeeded in resolving the forces. We have succeeded in considering all the systems of forces that are acting on the 20 kilogram block. And so we have found the vertical resolution of forces, which is what F plus F sin 30 equals W. And the horizontal resolution of forces F plus 30 degrees is equal to what? 0 0.23 Newton. So we have equated this to be our equation one and this to be equation two. Now the question says if the block has a weight of 20 kilograms and the coefficient of friction between the block and surface is 0 0.23, what is the force F required to pull the block to the right? So we are interested in the force that is required to pull the object. But recall that this force F, which is required to move the block, to the right, still along the horizontal, is inclined at an angle 30 degrees to the horizontal. Now, if the force was inclined at an angle to the vertical, we will have to subtract that force from 90 degrees in order to find our angle theta. So, having resolved our forces, we can now go further and simplify our question and eventually get the answer. So, m plus f sine 30 is equal to m. We know with W is equal to what mg, where m is what is our mass, and g is what is our acceleration due to gravity, and acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 newton. So we have m plus f sine 30 equals mg, which is equal to 20 times 9.8 newton. So that means we have what m plus f sine 30 is equal to 196 newton. So this still remains our equation one. And now going back to our equation two, where we have f cos 30 degrees is, is equal to 0 0.23 newton. Now we are interested in finding the force f. So since we have two equations, we will have to solve them simultaneously. And we'll do that simply by substitution method. So from our equation 1, n plus f sin 30 is equal to 196 newton. We can make n the subject of formula. N plus F sine 30 is 196 Newton. We know that sine 30 degrees is 0 0.5. So N plus 0 0.5 F is equal to 196. So N, making N the subject of formula, N equals 196 minus 0 0.5 F. We call that our equation theory. So what we need to do is to put this equation theory, is to substitute it into our equation 2. Since in this equation 2 we have f cos 30 degree equals 0 0.23 newton, 0.23 n I beg your pardon. So we are substituting n into equation 2. And doing that, we have n equals 196 minus 0 0.5. So we put that, we put this equation 3 into equation 2. And doing that, we have what f cos 30 degrees equals what 0 0.23. So instead of n, we will put 196 minus 0.5f into equation 2. And we know cos 30 is 0 0.866. So what we have here is 0.866f. We multiply 0 0.23 and 196. We have 45.08 minus 0.115f. So we, as usual, we collect like this. We bring uh, the f, the term with the f. We bring it to the other side so that we have 0. 866f plus 0.115f equals 45.0f. And then we have 0.981f equals 45.08. Now we can make f the subject of formula. 
So F equals 45.08 all over 0 0.981. And that gives us F equals 45.980. So now we have succeeded in identifying the magnitude of the force that is required to pull the block to the right. So that the magnitude of the force that is required is what? Is 45.9 Newton. So usually when you are given problems like this, the first thing to do is to first of all illustrate the question in the form of diagram, identify all the forces that are acting on the objects, and then we solve your forces appropriately. I recall that I said for equilibrium, your upward force will actually be equal to what? Your downward force. And that was how we came about the vertical resolution of our forces, which is what N plus F sine theta equals W. And then also, we also have to resolve our forces horizontally. So the moment we can illustrate our question with a diagram and resolve the forces successfully, it's very, very easy to solve problems like this. I believe we have learned something. Thank you. I'm an entrepreneur and a software engineer based in Ibadan, Nigeria. My years at McPherson University were definitely my defining years. Today, I'm one of the young IT professionals changing the status quo in Nigeria. I have even started consulting for A-list companies. I'm a chartered accountant and a 2016 first class graduate from the Department of Accounting and Finance, McPherson University, Nigeria. McPherson University provided me with the best ever learning environment. A serene and quiet environment that inspired motivated and prepared me for the world of works. Today, I'm not just a chartered accountant, but a community youth leader reputed for diligence, exemplary leadership and commitment. That's always the story of students who opt for McPherson University, Nigeria's fastest growing faith-based university established by First Square Gospel Church, Nigeria and situated in the serene environment of Serikin Sotayo, Ogun State. At McPherson University, we expose our students to a multicultural setting and diverse fields of knowledge through interactive teaching methodologies, project-based and hands-on learning techniques. Available undergraduate courses include Nursing Science, Medical Laboratory Science, Cyber Security, Information Technology, Software Engineering, Computer Science, Biochemistry, Microbiology, Economics and International Relations. Others are Mass Communication, Accounting, Finance, History and International Studies, Religion and Peace Studies, Business Administration, Marketing and English. We have undergraduate part-time and conversion programs in many courses as well as JUPEP program. We also run postgraduate for PGD, MSc, and PhD in Computer Science, as well as Masters in Business Administration, MBA. Our telephone hotlines are 0803-473-6991, and 0803-430-4512. Or visit www.mcu.edu.ng Welcome to Mafasin University, the home of champions. Here we raise people of excellence who will render service with godly fear and mission is on.